All right, welcome back. Welcome back, everybody. We uh, are uh, getting more stars, just yep. catching those shinies. Catching those shinies. We're at 63. We were at we were at 55. We got eight stars last episode, and we are gonna get more this time. Yeah. And that is three seconds of wasted time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, perfect. Oh, that's exactly what I meant to do. Oh, yes. Very oh, nice. don't do it. Help. He might try. He did. Oh, I heard him drop a coin. Yeah, it's fine. So right now I'm not actually going for the red coin star. No, just red coins are worth two, so why would you not get red coins? <laughs> yeah. It's a very good idea. Boing. I'm actually going for another star within the pyramid, and I left it for last so that I could uh, get the coins inside the pyramid right. for the 100 coin star as well, because there aren't 100 out here. Uh <laughs> Have you never seen that one? Is that normal? <laughs> yeah. Okay, fair enough. I, that that okay. So you 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 butt bounce beside him and it yeah. hit all of the hit boxes. Yep. Okay, that's fair. That's exactly it. That's that, I, yeah. I haven't seen that one. Nice. Very good. Yeah. I'm gonna grab this. Oh, the wing cap. The music. It's so classic. Ah. It's just. Piano and beautiful. All right, let's collect all these red coins. Mm -hmm. Yes. Perfect swoop. Help! Nice catch. Plateau. Oh, I missed it. Uh, yeah, it's fine. I'll just stay high. If I stay high, I can get it. Yep, high and dry. There is also, actually no, that's usually not good when people say you left me high and dry. I don't even know what that actually means. I think, uh, it's like, you know, left me hanging, like, left me uh, like a oh, towel. Oh, yeah, like, yeah. uh, like if you strung up your laundry. Yeah, exactly. Hung up to dry. Yeah. I never thought about that. It's very interesting. Yeah. I always like those blocks. Like, they're very terrifying when I was a kid, but I mean, they always have yeah. that pocket, the safe pocket, and I didn't know that. They I just look... thought it was a safe zone where somehow you didn't get crushed, but there's a whole pocket. They look very silly now that I look at them, but yeah. when I was a kid, I was actually a little bit like, I would get chills. Like, I'd be a little bit scared. Yeah. Like, damn. Because they're almost unpredictable, but no, they're, they, they, are, they have a pattern. Yeah, they have a very easy to deduct pattern. Yep. Go and grab these coins. And I got another spiny over here that I can munch. And you got a box there that you could probably get some coins from. So the first two get a hit, and then the others just disappear. Yeah, I don't know why it only usually hits the head, or like the head and the second one to the top. Now I'm getting five coins out there. Yeah, the bouncing boxes are pretty fucking good. Not bad. Let's not die in the quicksand. I think this is a life. Fuck it. Mine as well. Oh, yeah, whatever. Who needs it? You're gonna get two from. Well, you're gonna get one at least now already. So, if you die and have 50 coins, it's an automatic redemption on, on life there. So. True. Yeah. <clears throat> Better get more coins here. Gotta get you. Yeah, nice. Oh, okay. oh. Blue coin switch only. Whoa. Only gives me three. Nice. But that's a lot of coins. Nice get. Yeah, that's 15 coins. So many coins, so many coins. Oh. oh, okay. Okay. Thank you. Very nice. <laughs> I don't know what's back here. Yeah, that guy used to scare me too. Yeah, that really? Was a pussy. Same. <laughs> I, yeah, I was scared of a lot of stuff in here that's technically irrational to be scared of. But, uh, yeah, the, the, actually, the King Bob Bomb, honestly, I used to be so scared. Of that, of that guy as a kid. True. Not even because he was hard, it, it wasn't even that, it was just nah, he, his music and then he stomps towards you and it's going <laughs> yeah. Do, 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 do. Yeah. Literally, like, like, meet this guy. Yeah. This gigantic bomb caught wired to blow. Like, when I was a kid, the first time I played Luigi's Mansion, I was doing alright. It was pretty creepy, but I wasn't like scared of the game. I was like maybe 10 or 12 when I played it, 
and then uh, it got I, I opened a fake door in the hallway and it slapped Luigi into the wall and then he was flat and that scared the shit out of me oh, when I was a kid. Damn. <laughs> as oh, soon as I hit a fake door I was like, okay, I'm done. Someone else could play. That oh, might have been man. the first time I voluntarily stopped playing video games as a child. <laughs> wow, yeah, honestly, I... I, I, I tr I'm trying to think of when, um, if I've had a moment like that, but uh, all I know is that Sekiro broke me in a way that no mm. game has ever broken me. That's fair. It, it put in me the knowledge of life <laughs> and, and the inevitability of everything, and, and it made me learn a lot. That's so funny. It really taught me. Uh, it taught me and broke me and built me back up, and it was... Uh, a wonderful experience and continues to be. But if we do, oh, we should do um, Luigi's Mansion. I should do the game because I know that, or I should play that one because I know that when Eric uh, watches it, <laughs> that he knows it'll be me playing, and he knows how much I hate Luigi. Oh yeah, Joe hates Luigi. That's yeah. something that we've probably never mentioned on the show. Because um, <laughs> for all you Luigi fans out there, I just want you to know. It's not really special to like Luigi or have him as your favorite because they presented a character in a way that they dare people to dislike him. They oh, really yeah. do. And to me, Luigi is Green Mario. He can be lanky, he can have his voice, he can say things like, Hey, brother, he can say all that, I don't care. <laughs> but as soon as you make him a doofy, useless fuck, whose abilities revolve around the fact that he's doofy and everything he does is doofy, it's like, he, then it's worse than Lanky Kong. True. The fact that Lanky Kong is this awesome Kong who people love, but in the theme song they totally rip on him. He's got they no defining qualities. They diss him hard. He's, he, he has no style, he has no grace. <laughs> All he has, they say, is a funny face. He can stretch out his arms, but they don't... He got it pretty bad. Yeah, they don't specify what his arms can do by stretching out. He can stretch out his arms for you specifically. Oh, well, that's great. But you don't tell me that it can do awesome things. You just rip on the guy. Literally. It's like, yeah, no, I have sympathy for him. For Luigi, no, he just... He's constantly there with his freaking face, just just tell, just daring you to dislike him. And I, and I, and I do can not care Can you imagine that. if they gave him character progression? And instead of him always being a scaredy cat, like weird ass brother, then mm -hmm. like, cause he's been in so many Luigi's Mansion games, maybe he wouldn't be that scared anymore. And that's the all, and that's the reason I I have decided to subject subject myself to that game in the future because that's actually the only it, it, that's actually a fantastically built game, um, and it's the only game where Luigi's. Uh, the character makes sense yes, because, exactly. of course, you would be terrified in a haunted house. Uh, I've already expressed like I'm not a skeptic, but I'm not like like I'm not I don't dabble. I never would. Like I stand firm on my beliefs, but I wouldn't dabble with things that are beyond my control. Not, yeah. It's like whether I believe it's true or not is one thing because personally like i said i'm not a skeptic i'm open I i'm open to it like open to it in terms of believing it um but i'm not gonna go out and prove it because yeah. i would rather not i don't care about chances like i do believe stuff like that can be real or at yeah. least or at least it can seem like it is but in reality it could be something else entirely and yeah. something else unexplainable, you know, because if there's forces at work beyond our control, we, we already can't understand them, so. Um, but yeah, that's what I always think. Don't test it, because have you well, seen in movies, and sometimes as people say in real life, it doesn't end well. When I think about it, it's like, I, if I look at a mirror at night and I yeah. think Bloody Mary is going to come out, if I say Bloody Mary three times, like, I know it's not going to happen. I do. Yeah. But why would I do it then? Because <laughs> at that point, I feel like I'm creeping myself out, 
and wasting my own time because uh -huh. I know what's yep. going to happen. Even as a kid, when all the stories went around in elementary and they prevented us from even going into the bathroom alone anymore because <laughs> kids started saying that stuff all over school and thought it was a joke and funny to scare other kids, but then the teacher stepped in and they're like, okay, you, you can't uh, say that anymore because it's starting a panic. <laughs> it turned into like a whole the sickness uh, idea. Where it's it, the like, sickness you yeah, see. It's the sickness, but it was back then. Oh, We're no. allowed to, honestly, Honestly, I, it scared the shit out of me because somehow the lights even went out at one point. Um, uh, I'm pretty sure they either had an excuse for it or they explained it or whatever, but right. the lights went out and we were forced to go to the bathroom in pairs, but in the dark. Creepy. And yeah, honestly, uh, not a good time, not especially a good time. for a kid who like is already very sheltered and therefore is terrified by things. Yeah. Like that. Yeah. So when kids tell you these stories, you get really freaking freaked out. I had nightmares about it. Ran in my parents' bed and had to sleep in between them when I was a kid <laughs> because the freaking stories I heard I heard in elementary were horrible. And that was the start of me being like, you know what? I'm not gonna mess with that shit. True. It's funny to see other people in movies mess with it and and things go. And honestly, the fact is, even if things go right in the end, things went wrong to begin with. So yeah, that's the non-fun part. It's yep. like, you get scarred for life. It's like, you thought that was fun? Yeah, well, for the rest of your life, you're never going to be able to forget that. And you thought, <laughs> one night of fun. It's oh, like, no, trauma. It's, How fun. You can scoff if you wish. You may scoff if you wish. You can try it and even find that it doesn't work. You can knock yourself out. I don't encourage it myself. I mean, I know people consider it kind of a fun thing. Hey, beers and a Ouija board. Like, I know some people, uh, it's pr pretty casual. Yeah. But, uh... I wouldn't. I, I don't know. I I wouldn't bother. I would not not for myself at least. It's not for me. Yeah. But um, movies, movies, uh, they often do a good job of making it seem alluring, and then immediately there's comeuppance to be paid. Yeah. Because you're angering something that's not uh that's not human, and even if it were animal. You don't fuck with animals, do you? You don't anger a wild animal, like a big <laughs> animal especially. You don't do that. That's equally not as smart. I'm trying to get at these rings. <laughs> They're being kind of Okay, up. so are these the ones that that you literally get for going through the hoops? I mean, the, the, the hoops, whatever? Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. Nice. That's interesting because... There's also one behind the stingray and that one's pretty hard. Because there's all of those levels where you hit, where you touch random spots in the level, and then it counts. But that's not an 8-red coin thing, that's just a secrets thing, right? I think so. Okay. Okay. Oh, uh, you're so close. Alright. I give up. I tried to fight the current, but I'm just gonna grab the so box. Close. Oh, oh, I see. Never mind. Okay, yeah. Yes, oh. seriously, screw it. You're gonna be that difficult? We're gonna do this. Oh, yeah! Oh, wow, nice. I am combing. Pretty close. Wow. A quarter of it gets wasted getting down. Oh, so much of it. It's like almost half of it, actually. Ah, yeesh. I guess I was being generous. It's just so deep, and you fall slowly. Yep. Oh, yeah, despite the fact that you actually, you know, I guess that is kind of realistic. How many things drop straight to the ocean floor? Like, there's true, there's depth to go through. I think I can get one more star and the sub star still in this episode. Booyah! Then we're gonna be at a solid seventy. <laughs> Make this episode an hour long and get like <laughs> ten stars barely. It's like, yeah, we totally we we fall through, we fall through on our promise. <laughs> Told you we do it in one episode. Somehow it's hard to think about swimming and also think about conversation. Yeah, it's a rhythm. It's I a rhythm. totally break my rhythm when I yep. do it. Yep, that's oh, fair. Fuck. Feel free to uh, to not respond or take things silently. I do occasionally, but it's fine. Oh, uh, you got a star I didn't even see. Oh yeah. Very nice. Jump right behind the top of the sub. Oh. Oh, 69. Oh, the magic number. Nice. That would be a good time to cap off the episode, but we haven't delivered our informant share it. It's actually true. We do still have about 30 seconds. <laughs> you can get another one for 30 seconds. Yeah, that's almost, that's literally almost true. It actually is true. <laughs> no, it's not. But it is. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> 
with ease. Oh, maximum. We're a little bit over, I think, 30 seconds for that star. That's not too bad. Actually, it might have been like exact. That's actually kind of crazy. Yeah. Well, did you do it? You did it? Yeah. Wait, are you sure? How many stars did, did you have 60? Oh, wait, more than last time? Wait, what, what did we get last time? Eight. We got eight oh, last time. I think. Which oh, means we, we were, were at 55 at... when we got to 60. Oh, no, that means we got seven this episode. <sighs> Not delivering. Oh, well, a little bit of an underperformance from Mike. You know what? That that's not that's not how we see things around here. <laughs> we see these we see these things as room for improvement. Yes, indeed. And we will do uh, we will do our darnness because you got to know the episodes do get uh, uh, episodes. <laughs> the uh, levels get a lot harder. Yeah, they definitely and a lot do. More time consuming. I'm so. gonna have to toughen up through them. Yep. Yep. But we're going to have to do that on the next episode, because yep. this one's over. 